With new errors come new generations. Now I'm upgrading my processor to a 3970X by AMD. 144 megabytes of some awesome cache. 32 cores at the fingertips with a nice respectable overclock. 4.7 they say, and that's then their optimal one core. But if you get it to about all cores, you're going to get roughly about 4.25, probably 4.3, probably top out. You can probably get maybe a little bit higher than that, maybe... 4.35 will test in time, but a lot of the creators have already hit that with the 1.29 volts, which you would be pulling, which is a lot. It's almost like 600 watts, but let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? One of the cooler things that I've liked about this is now that it is not utilizing node jumping in the Infinity Fabric, this generation of Ryzen is going to be so much more cooler to control with 32 cores. It's more of an unlocked version of what was last time. Not able to run as fast. And now it's all synchronized. So this is a really cool stepping stone for me to step into this and be able to utilize this amazing processor for the first time. So for starters, there's just some like rink-a-dink awesome amazing system. I say rinky-dink, but it's not really, but it's just able to hold it really well. So once you get this off the bottom, it just pretty much slides out. The last generations had a little bit more, I, I kind of feel cooler mechanisms, like the first generation had like this really cool box, and the second generation, and this was not too bad, and I'm sure that the creators that they gave sponsored this, and this is a great little threshold. I do like this part. This part's epic. As you can see, the unlock portion as you get this off very gently. And voila, our brand new. Oh, oh, there seems to be a nice little cozy for the back portion of that so it doesn't get scratched. They thought I had a lot, of, but that's pretty cool. And the pins are different. So if you have a last generation, this will not work with the newer boards. AMD has promised to try to move forward with utilizing the TRX40 for the future generations. And uh, TRX will be more of the, or STRX to be um, completely 100% up to what they're getting at. But if you have a TR4 board, or just in that situation of the last generations with that rippers, you see a lot of more cooler stuff. Um, so like my Alpha, that's why I got the uh, 30 to not, I thought that wasn't that bad of an investment for last generation, I got the 24 just to play around and make a Linux build. So they're still useful. But if you are new to the network, thank you so much for subscribing, hopefully, and getting to some fun stuff because we have one last thing. One last thing, the mystery box. Because apparently someone just subscribed. It, it just like dinged right there, yeah. But cool, it comes with your manual for the new socket so you can read up on what's going on for as far as the situation goes into standpoint for the processor. A very cool sticker that you can put on there. More importantly, the suggested uh, water cooler bracket just in case you have one where you can kind of add there. Your torque wrench, you never want to go anything past it. It's completely calibrated with your X bit. And that's pretty much all that's inside the box besides a whole bunch of cardboard. But that's pretty much the unboxing. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the network. Who knows? Maybe I, throughout time, will become an amazing processor. Just like this one. The sweet processor that's going to lead me into the generation of a new era. So, have a very nice day. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future.